Wonderful. I'm David Elmore, and I am with Nisa at the Jamboree, and we're going to be interviewing Mr. Terry Fossum, winner of Kicking and Screaming, and Eagle Scout. So we're going to hear his story right now. So Terry, um, when did you first get involved with uh, scouting? I got involved with scouting before I was old enough to be involved with scouting. Mom was a den mother for my older two brothers. I thought it was so cool. I hung around it all the time. So uh, they basically adopted me as the den mascot. So I'm ecstatic to see the Lions program right now because absolutely get the kids in young. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And then uh, you, you went up through the scouting program. Tell us a little bit about your experience and some of your favorite adventures in scouting. Oh man, there, there are too many to even talk about, you know, but the favorite adventures are always in the outdoors. You know, that's the thing. Meetings can be boring. Meetings aren't going to get kids going. It's the outdoor adventures. So from the adult standpoint, help the kids put together cool outdoor adventures that are fun, that make them want to brag to their friends the next day. <clears throat> from the kids' standpoint, get out there on all the adventures. Go on the tough ones. Go on in the ones that looks like they might suck. The rainy ones, the cold ones, the long hikes, because those are the ones that make you tough. Instead of pretending to go on adventures and video games, get out there and do real ones where people bleed, where there's real danger and all of that. Because then when you get older, you've got all the skills that people don't expect you to have. And you have those very cool memories. You, you've got the memories, you've got the background. I mean, people. Uh, that's why they look to scouts because as kids a lot of times we've been in life-threatening situations you know we've had to save lives we've been at times where we could die you know one example real quick one driving out here last night um, I'm driving down the road quick rainstorm car in front of me spins out jumps on its side skids across the road into the ditch BAM right into the, the hillside and of course, I just pull over calm as could be because I'm a Boy Scout. We've been through this stuff before and help pull a family of four out of the car. And thank God they were all right. If they weren't, we know first aid. Absolutely. Well, uh, going on up to as you went through your ranks and so forth, uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, trail to Eagle Scout. Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, by the way, I think it's important to bring this up. It might seem like a negative. It's actually a real positive. I had some bullying going on when I was a scout. I got bullied. So I'm real intent on that never happens. In my troop, the older boys understand their main job is to help those younger scouts. And that's important that we share that message to really have the older boys focusing on that. The young kids look at them as gods, man. You know, so take care of the young scouts. They're the future of your unit. There's no doubt about it. Now that being said, also, had a blast. Summer camp, one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life, you know? And I went through NYLT of that day and had a blast doing it. Um, did everything I could, senior patrol leader, JASM, order of the arrow. Man, jump into everything you can because that's where the fun is, that's where the adventure is, and that's where you learn these kind of skills that'll carry on forever. Now we know that you're an Eagle Scout. Can you tell us a little bit about what your project was? Yeah, you bet. My project was actually helping my church develop a parking lot um, and put that together, line it out, bring in the, the big logs and everything to add as the, embut the embutments. Uh, I think it's still there today, which is a cool thing. It's no longer a church. It's now a retirement home, but I think the uh, parking lot is still there. Fantastic. That just proves that some Eagle Scout projects last a long time and give back to the community as they were intended. Yeah, absolutely they do. And that's that it, it does exactly that, but it also gets the word out there about Boy Scouting and about Eagle Scouts and all that. You ask anybody out there about what an Eagle Scout is and they have an idea. They know it's really good, they know it's really cool. And you were in Eagle class of uh, 1980. Fantastic. Right around the same time as mine. That's very cool. Well, that's that's true. <laughs> But we're, we're cool. Yeah. So thank you so much. Well, I hope I, we leave that to the other guys yeah, to figure right. out. Um, so you, uh, how has scouting helped you in your career and your your life beyond becoming an Eagle Scout? You know, of course, everywhere. The Order of the Arrow shaped my life. Uh, it absolutely shaped my life. It teaches service to others before yourself. I do everything I can to live my entire life that way because I was taught that in the Order of the Arrow. Um, the funny part is I actually get paid a, a kind of crazy amount of money to speak in front of people. It's They pay me thousands of dollars an hour to speak in front. Weirdest thing ever. Where did I learn it? Scouting. 
You know, I was a patrol leader. I spoke in front of my patrol. I was a senior patrol leader. I spoke in front of the troop. Or to the arrow, I was lodge chief, chapter chief, section vice chief. I spoke in front of hundreds of people. That's what honed that skill. And of course, most importantly, the leadership that we learn. Leadership is ubiquitous. It's everywhere. I don't care where you are, military, civilian life, whatever, leadership is leadership. Um, and most importantly, living with honor. You know, we all say, on my honor. And that's the most important thing you could have in all your life. Apply that to everything, and things will go great. Now, I understand that you're, uh, uh, in a, you're still in scouting as a uh, leader in your council, and as a scoutmaster, I believe, and so forth. So how did you come to be a part of the reality show, Kicking and Screaming? Well, first of all, I'm no longer a scoutmaster. I stepped down after I got back out of the jungle. Um, an amazing man took it over for me. I'm now the vice president for program for the entire council um, and still working a lot with it all. I didn't apply to be on any reality show. I had zero interest of being on a reality show. Come on, I'm old, I'm fat, come on. But they put a casting call out on Brian on scouting that I didn't know about. Somebody else who had been through one of my wood badge courses put my name in on my behalf. Hey, you ought to talk to Terry Fossum, he'd be great. I, all I know is I go down, well, in fact, I'll back up. I had been retired to raise a family. I was looking to come out of retirement, and I'm praying to God, okay, what do you want me to do next? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You know, you tell me. Be careful what you ask for. Because I go down to check my email one day. Right after, there's a stinking email, hey, this is so-and-so casting company from this reality show, and we think you'd be great. You can't say no. If you've been praying to God, what do you want me to do next? I'll do it. And you get that. It's like, I told my wife, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. But I feel like I'm being called to do it. So I didn't go into this thing, quite frankly, to win half a million dollars or quarter million dollars for me. I went in um, to represent scouting. And even near the end, final two teams and the interviewers are going, how bad would it feel if you made it this far and didn't win the money? And my answer was, it'd feel fantastic. See, I know I'm here for a reason, but I don't know what that reason is. It could be to help somebody else win. And if that's my purpose, amen, fantastic. You know, it's not about me. It's God's will, not mine. So the whole way through, I was kind of like happy-go-lucky. I don't, you know, I'm going to work my butt off, and I want to make sure and represent scouting well, but I wasn't worried about winning. That's probably not my purpose. Come on. Did you see the competition? There's no way that was going to happen. Unless God wanted me to. <laughs> Absolutely. And I also understand after, so when you did win, I'm going to back up there a second. So when you did win, uh, what was it like? And I, did, I missed the program, so can you tell us a little bit about what you said on the program? It was really cool. No, no. Uh, sorry. No, I mean, I'm tripping out. If, if, you, if you watch the finale, I'm freaking out, man. I just keep going, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. I, I could have been more eloquent, but not at that moment, you know. There was no way in the world that the old fat scout man, I lost 25 pounds on the show, all right, that the old fat scout man, so the oldest, the token old guy, oldest guy in the entire show, and the token boy scout, I knew it, you know, I knew that going in, that's all right, teamed up with an online video gamer, streamer, pink, blue hair, tattoos, and all that, there's no way that we were going to be able to come together. Never underestimate the power of a scout. Scouting teaches us to work with people. Scouting teaches us to bring other people who aren't used to being the outdoors into the outdoors. They, they teach us diversity, that it's okay to be different. In fact, we like it. Bring it on, you know? What they were calling survival skills, it's scouting skills. It's the same stuff that we do all the time. I was amazed, honestly. I was completely amazed at how good we really are as scouts. I had no idea we were that good. You know, what we take for granted with all this stuff, it's not common. So uh, every scout out there should be extremely proud. Absolutely, and I want to thank you for, uh, how, do, how, how do the youngsters say it today, uh, representing? Representing, yes, represent. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely, fantastic. So uh, where what is next? Oh, I, let me take this back. You have a book out. Yeah, I've got a, a new book out. Uh, I should have brought a copy to show you. Summer Camp to Survival School or Survival Show winner. Uh, really proud of it. It tells how scouting took me from being on the wrong end of an assault rifle in junior high. Father killed when I was in high school. Told we would never grow up to be anything. 
through the stages of how scout scouting helped me every step of the way, including some really cool solo adventures in the Arctic Circle, Badlands of, Arct of uh, South Dakota, etc., etc. Really good book. You can get it at terryfossum.com uh, right now, and I'll sign it before it goes out if you like. Just let me know. So I'm really proud of that book, and I'm doing public speaking. So I'm, I'm looking to go around to a lot of the councils for their different events and everything, and of course, corporate speaking and everything as well. That's really fantastic, and thank you. Actually, you are an inspiration, I think, to a lot of young men out there, and we hope that they check that out and, and take an opportunity to read that book, and I'd like to do so as well. Uh, is there anything else that, uh, that uh, any of you guys behind the camera that, or anybody else out there that might want to give us a question? What would, be your piece, uh, what would be your piece of advice to a young man today as far as getting his eagle? Uh, as far as getting eagle? Oh, man. The question, well, I guess you heard it. I can't tell you how many people all the time, including the crew, so like the cameraman and the, the sound guys and all that who aren't supposed to talk to us, but I can't tell you how many of even them came up to me and said, by the way, but I really appreciate what you're doing out here. I'm really proud of you and all that. And by the way, I made Life Scout and I have felt bad about it for the rest of my life. Oh, we all hear those stories so often. Dude, dude, just do it. Don't dig your feet in on this one, okay? Don't be the rebel on this one because mom and dad are trying to push you or whatever. Just do it, man. Make Eagle. I promise you, you'll be happy you did, okay? Um, when I was in the military, when I was in the Corp Cadets A&M, you wear your Eagle badge. Military, you actually wear something that signifies Eagle. I mean, just do it, man. It makes all the difference. Thanks for asking that. Anybody else have a question? That was the question. Wonderful. The last thing, though, is... I went into the show, again, to represent Boy Scouts, to represent who I am. My whole thing is I want to do it with honor. Same way I live my life. No backstabbing, no talking behind people's back, no lying. Did it 100% above board the way I live my life. You're going to come up with a lot of challenges. You are right now. I know it. You know, whether to cheat on your homework, you know, or if you're already in the corporate world, etc. You're going to have all these temptations. Man, live with honor. Live with adventure and live like a scout. I can't think of any better words to close on or any other questions and anything else you'd like to say. That's it. Thanks so much for having me here at the Nisa booth at the Jambo, man. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. This is really an exciting opportunity. We've been really enjoying this and thank you so much, Mr. Fawson, for coming by My and pleasure. giving us your time and this is a wonderful experience. Thanks. Thanks for having me. All right. Go get them, y'all.